A parental chart is a type of chart that contains both bars and a line graph, where individual values are represented in descending order by bars, and the cumulative total is represented by the line. It is a basic quality tool that helps you identify the most frequent defects, complaints, or any other factor you can count and categorize. The 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto principle, or the law of the vital field, and trivial many states that, for many events, both the 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. So let me show you how to create a Pareto chart in Excel. So here are the data for the number of complaints received in a restaurant. So let me sort this data by largest to smallest first. So let me click on the data, I'll click check filter, sort the largest to smallest. And I'm going to add a new column called cumulative percentage. And I'm going to create a formula to calculate this percentage. So my formula will be equal to sum of the cumulative cases. We start with the cell C3 until the corresponding cell, so it will be the same cell here again. Over the total number of cases, so that will be sum of the cell C3 until cell C10. Okay, so please note my first case will be a fixed number, so I'm going to press F4 to make it a fixed number. This also applies to the total number of cases. So C3 until C10 is also a constant. So my formula has been done. So let me change the number formats to percentage. And I'm going to add this formula to the rest of my data. So now I'm ready to insert my Pareto chart. So let me select the data range again. And you go to tab insert. So let me insert a 2D column chart first. So here you can click on the bar chart again, right click, change series chart type. I'm going to change the cumulative percentage to a line graph and also please check the box secondary axis here. So for the secondary y axis, please right click form axis, please change the maximum values to 100%. Please check on the bar chart again, right click format data series. I'm going to reduce the gap width to 0% and add a white border to it to separate the bar. So last, let me add the data label to show the number of cases received for each complaint. So you can see for the 80%, you can see the top three complaints come from waiting time, poor service and noisy environment. So this chart is very useful for you to find the defects in order for you to prioritize the area for improvement. I hope you find this video useful. Please do subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.